so we're going to work with the search bar okay a search bar and a list view so you can see these are list view right here with our data we have a couple of galaxies right here then we have a search bar okay by default of course our search bar is not yet initialized it's not yet enabled if we click it right here it's going to automatically enable it you can see right here then it's hinting us to search so let's say i want to search i go ahead start searching you can see then if i come click the search item you can see we're able to retrieve the item that you've actually searched okay of course you're searching just a simple list view uh, right here we're able to perform our search right here so this is it guys this is what we're going to see how to perform search filter of course against a list view from our search bar we're using a material design search bar right here and this is of course what we're going to be a thing join me we'll start off so our first thing the first thing that we're going to do is to create our project proceed on application name then of course our minimum SDK let's go ahead choose the Android 4.1 Jelly Bean API 16 why because of course we're going to use a third party library of course to show a search bar it's going to require a Jelly Bean and above but then it's not a problem you guys can see supporting 99.2 percent there's a lot of devices then we're going to have our basic activity now let's go ahead choose the basic activity because it's going to define for us the app by layout which we're going to uh where of course we're in the app by layout is where we're going to add of course our search bar okay so instead of empty activity let's go with the basic activity and then of course uh it's going to generate for us some layouts right here. then click finish so once we've done that one the first thing of course is to uh, deal with our dependencies so you guys can see inside our gradle script we have these two a build of gradle files the first one is the project level build of gradle what we're interested in right here in what project we're going to have the JSON as the repository so go ahead add this one the marvel right here this is where we're going to fetch our deep of course search bar from okay so we specify right here the url which is jetpack.io this is where we're going to specify fetch our uh, search bar material search bar so go ahead specify right here in the build the gradle the project level then in our app level build.gradle this is what we're going to do right here first of course minimum sdk let's make sure it's 16 then of course we go ahead add this zone okay this is a third a material search bar which we've said we're going to be using so of course we also have the app compat activity our main activity app compat our support library our main activity is going to derive from it we also have the constraint layout also have of course the design support library so we have those ones right there let's specify them then click sync your project then sync your project okay to fetch uh, this particular library so these are gradle scripts and next let's jump over to our layouts so for our layouts inside this particular layout directory we're going to of course we have two layouts that have been generated for us two xml files activity main and then the content main so inside our content main this is where we're going to add our list view so let's go ahead add the list view this is the list view that's going to add contain the data that we're going to filter next activity main this is our template layout you guys can see we have the coordinator layout as the parent then as the root layout then of course we inside it we have the app bar layout we also have the floating action button so inside this app bar layout this is where we're going to add our material search bar okay of course we have the toolbar as you guys can see our toolbar right here then you can see of course we have this on the material search bar so this is our material search bar of course there are some settings you guys can specify like the speech mode the hint etc the theme not the theme let's go ahead use the app theme the pop-up overlay so what we're going to uh, do in fact these two properties these ones we're going to set them you of course you can set them right here via the xml or programmatically via the code or i'll show you how to set them of course also over the code 
so yes we also giving it uh, right here this search bar id okay which is our id right here we use this id of course to reference our this material search bar so guys that's it these are layouts of course content main we have right here our list view then take note of course this activity main is including our content main do take the mail these are our layouts next let's of course jump over to our java code our main activity so yeah this right here is our main activity is an activity is deriving from the app compat activity so we have our own create method which is of course going to get called when this particular activity is being created okay so inside it of course set content view this is we're going to inflate our activity main to take the mail which of course contains content main to take the mail so we're going to inflate it uh, right here of course to our user interface then of course also in uh, referencing our toolbar and then of course uh, setting it passing it right here to our set support action bar so next we're going to of course also reference the list view find view by id r.id.mlist view then we're also going to reference our material search bar so material search bar search bar find view by id r.id.search bar then we cast our view which we're going to get right here to material search bar next we're going to you guys can see we said this is how we can set some of these properties programmatically you can see search bar that set hint search search bar that set speech mode true we did see of course how to set them uh, also via the xml so we're also going to come right here create uh, this particular array list that we're calling galaxies okay this we're going to add the data which will be binding to our to our list view so yes we, i'm going to paste right here my data these are my data right here my galaxies okay these are the data that i'm going to show in my list view so these are the data on to which you are going to be performing against which you are going to be performing our searches so next we're going to create instantiate our array adapter so array adapter adapter equal to new array adapter this android with r show the simple is empty one then galaxies which of course this of course is the layout we're going to use and then this one is the context okay then of course this is our data source which is a simple array list so every the set adapter we set our adapter to a list view then of course once we've done that one we're going to come right here search bar to add text change listener so we want to listen to text changes as the user types in the search bar we want to listen to those particular text changes and then get the query that the user is actually typing and then use our adapter to perform search against this particular data so right here we're going to pass in uh, right here an anonymous class new text change text watcher uh, right here then we're going to override these particular methods you guys are seeing this of course text watcher is our anonymous class that you're passing in okay a nameless class so we pass in we're going to override this particular method before text change on text change and then after text change the one we're interested in is the on text change right here so this is going to help us in performing our filters in real time as the user types of course we perform our search now how are we going to do that one well our adapter can help us in doing so so we just call adapter.get adapter because has a filterable class which we're going to call using the get filter method then we call its filter uh, method right here then we simply pass in the query now the query of course is this the cut sequence that we're being passed right here so that's it that's going to filter for us our data it's just simple next of course we simply need to handle the item click events for this list so every that set an item click listener then on item click okay we're going to show our toast so toast the make text i mean actually the this which is the context now to get the item that's been clicked we're going to use our adapter so adapter get item we pass in the position okay which is this first integer right here 
So adapter will get item position, but then of course we just make sure it's to screen by casting it to screen. And that's it guys, that's it. This is how we're going to be performing our filter against our list of course using a search bar. That's it, let's go ahead and run the project and see our result. So we run our project, this is what we're getting. We can proceed on and search our data. Okay, if we come right here, you can see we can handle the item click events. So you can see our stuff is working uh, right here. We can just go ahead and search. So that's it, guys. That's our tutorial. We're touching the source code below. Take care. I'll catch you in the next class.